In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your exterior door handle on the front driver's side of this F-150, but the same procedure will apply to the rest of the door handles. Let's get started. I like to start at the door handle. You don't have to, but pull the handle out, and then with a pick or a trim tool, remove this plastic cap here. Sometimes it'll be hard to take off. Might require a little bit of force. Uh, they are clipped in pretty tight here. There we go. Pry this away. This will expose an eight millimeter bolt. Remove it. Set it aside safely. Inside the grab handle, you'll notice a little cap. Take a pick or a pocket screwdriver, whatever you have that'll get in here. You have to pry this up. There we go. Once you pry it up halfway, you can go to the other side and pry it up the rest of the way. This will expose another eight millimeter bolt. Remove that as well. Pull it out of there. It's not the same as the other one, so make sure you don't mix them up. At the bottom of the door panel, you have two six millimeter screws. There's one right over here. Whoa. Take that out. And then the other one is towards the inside of the door. Take that one out as well. Let's remove the master window switch. Use a trim tool, pry it up in the back here. Be somewhat gentle, you don't want to break it. And work your way to the front. It should slide up and out, at which point you can flip it over. Once you have it out of there, you'll see three main harnesses here. Start with this one at the back. Unplug it, then this one in the middle, and this last one at the front for the lock switch, and set that aside. Now take the door panel, slide it up, and it should unlock. Don't go too far with it because the mirror switch is still connected, so remove it off of the door. To disconnect the door latch cable, it has two tabs, one on each side. I'm using a pick, but you can use anything that'll squeeze them in. And once you squeeze one in, try to pry it through to hold it squeezed in. Pry the other side. This is not going to be super easy, but this is the only way to get this out of here, unfortunately. Perfect. Slide it out. Take the ball end of it out of the door handle. Set it aside. Now the mirror switch that adjusts your mirrors has a tab on the front side of it. Press it and disconnect it. And now you can pull your door panel away. Now we have to take this piece off, which is only held on with an eight millimeter screw over here, or bolt, and then the rest will twist off once this is out. So remove it. And then, then you wanna grab it, twist this that way, and this up, pull it away, which will expose this bracket right here with the three eight millimeter bolts that this is held on with. Remove all three of these. Set this aside. Now you want to peel the vapor barrier off. Start on the outer part of the door here. I'm not going to peel the whole thing away. Just enough to expose the area that I need to work in. Make sure this sticky part either stays on the door or comes with it. It's important so that you can stick it back when the time comes. There we go. Leave this over here. Now you're gonna to wanna to get a screwdriver and stick it through one of the openings in the door, whatever fits best for you. And you wanna pry these two tabs apart so that the lock rod can slide out that way. Uh, it's gonna be a little tricky. You might have to stick your hand down here and pry the rod out as you pry these two plastic pieces apart. There we go does take quite a bit of force and then we can just leave this over here. Now you have this pink clip over here that holds the rod for the door handle. Pop this out with a pick or anything else that you can get in there with. Once you have it open, remove the rod, pull it aside just like this. Now with a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two mounting nuts that hold the door handle on the inside of the door. There's gonna be two on here and there will be two more bolts. I'll show you where those are in a second. 
for now, let's get these off. Try not to drop them because we will have to reuse them. Now on the outside of the door, let's pop off this top cover and this should expose a 10 millimeter bolt that we have to remove in order to release this door handle. Take this out. Now remove the door handle. It'll pivot out like this and it's not going to come out completely because it still has those rods that are connected. So we'll have to kind of uh, shimmy it out like this. And then it also has some wiring because this particular truck has the keyless entry option. This longer rod for the handle is going to have to come off by just unhooking it like that. Set that aside. The lock rod, obviously, we already disconnected. Now we have to pop off this panel for the number pad. I'm going to try and remove this rusty retainer here. I'll put it back, but this will allow me to have a little bit more slack in the wiring harness. Now we want to pry these tabs. It has one of these on each end. Pry those out. There's two clips over here. Pry those out as well. I'm trying to press in on the numbers. That should release the uh, number pad. Yep, there we go. That's released on one side. Try to get it to pop out of the other side as well. And there we go. We'll do that. I'll have to do the same over here. Okay. Pry the locking tab back. And there's the number pad. This can stay attached to the vehicle. At this point, we need to remove the lock mechanism. So with a pick, slide this clip out, pull this out. And here is your old door handle. Now, now take your new door handle, flip it over. This clip right here should already be installed and fully seated. If it isn't, do that because next we have to take the lock mechanism and press it down. It should click into place. There we go. Make sure you press it in there until it clicks and it shouldn't want to pop right out. Now take the number pad and slide it in to the retaining clips here. And it's going to be a little tricky to line up, but once it falls into place, it should click into place. As you press it in, make sure that this doesn't happen. Press the numbers out and they don't, you don't want to have them caught on the outer door handle piece here. Otherwise, it'll keep pressing the numbers when you're not supposed to press the numbers. So there we go. That's locked in. All the clips are safely secured. Don't forget about this metal clip here. If yours is in poor condition, uh, just try to make sure that the harness is safely secured still. This just holds it on here. Press it down. There we go. That's secured. Now let's put the rod in for the handle. Make sure it goes in the same direction as it was before. It pivots smoothly. That's what you want. You don't want it to fall right out, but you also don't want it to be completely stuck in there. Now slide this down and into position has a little tab right here and one at the top those need to slide in first kind of sideways like that and then the two studs should poke through the door put this mounting screw back in tighten it up and don't forget to put the cap back on to prevent water from getting in there now let's get the two mounting nuts back in Line them up and snug them up. It's nice and snug. Make sure the door handle is pressed tightly up against the door. And of course, don't over tighten these. You don't want to break anything. Okay, that's bottomed out. Give it another eighth of a turn and that's perfect. Now let's connect the rods. Now take the rod for the locking mechanism and slide it into the, the two plastic tabs here. Make sure that's locked in nicely. Now the pink retainer, which is the rod for the door handle. You're going to want to put the rod 
over that cap and then click the cap shut until it well locks into place. I'm gonna, there we go, just like that. Make sure that is approximately seated where it was before. It has threads and those threads need to and those threads need to line up to where it was. You'll notice because the areas that were not clamped are going to be corroded or a little more dirty than the areas that are clamped. And then of course, give it a test to make sure that the door handle on the outside actually actuates the latch on the inside. Now let's put the vapor barrier back. Make sure the uh, sticky tape here sticks for the most part. If for some reason you can't get this to stay back here, you can use some regular tape, painter's tape, anything you have, but it's important that this at least gets pressed up against the door because as it rains, water does actually get in through your window a little bit and you want to prevent that water from coming into the door inside the cabin. So just press this up against here. And now let's put the bracket on that sits up here. Let's put this bracket on, which goes over here with the three bolts supports the armrest. Start those in. Tighten this up. Now we're going to take this larger foam piece and you want to clip these white clips into the gray retainers like that. There's one at the bottom, one up top here or on the side. And then at the top, it has one eight millimeter bolt. That's tight. Now bring your door panel in and connect the mirror switch. And for the door handle switch, you'll notice the cable end has a little uh, ball end on it. Connect that to the handle itself. Bring it over like this, and you're going to want to push it through this hole until it latches in. You should not be able to pull this out. And of course, test the operation of the door handle to make sure before you close this up. One last thing before the door panel finally goes on, make sure these wires go through for the window switch. Okay. As we put the door panel in, you wanna pay attention to the lock indicator. It needs to go through the little hole, otherwise it'll get jammed in there. Most likely your door panel won't even sit all the way because it'll be blocked by that. So bring this up and press it up against the door. And as it goes down, you can see right now, it has not gone through the hole yet. I can see it. It's lined up. So I'm gonna press the door panel down. And there we go. It was in the locked position, but if you just pull the door handle, it should pop up and through. Now let's put the bottom two screws in. Don't tighten these up too much. They screw into plastic and they are very coarse threads so they will strip the plastic out easily. Perfect. Now don't forget about the screw that goes into the grab handle. Tighten that down and there's a little cap that hides it. Put that back. Put the master window switch back in. Connect all three connectors, make sure they click. It has one of these clips on each end to lock it in. So we'll just slide it straight down and press it in. Last but not least, put this screw in on the door handle. And then the cap or the cover. And there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.